I have four concepts to show you today for our lesson. Number one, we're going to look at list boxes in VBA. Then we're going to use arrays, worksheet events, and learn how to do print and print preview. And the exercise that I chose for us today is the following. So here I have the names of my sheets, and then I can select, for example, a couple of sheets. I click here and I can see them in one document in print preview. So how to do this? Let's start, we're gonna go down. And first of all, we need to insert a list box. To do this, you need to go to the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab, you can just right click on a blank space here, customize the ribbon, and then if you go to developer here, you have to tick this checkbox. Then you say, okay, if I click on it, I go to insert active X control here, I'm going to have this list box. So I'm just going to insert the list box here. And then what I need to do is two things. Number one, I need this list box to automatically put the names of the sheets that I have. So if I change a name, if I add a sheet, etc., it should come here. Number two, Whenever I select some names and I click on a button, I need to see the print preview or maybe print the document. So to do this, we're going to start with the first part and we're going to go to VBA. So you can do Alt F11. You'll get this screen, which is the Visual Basic Editor. And then you need some modules. If you don't have a module, you just right click here and then you do insert module. So here I have module two. We're going to start with a sub that takes the names of all those sheets and put them here. Sub fill list box. So how do I get the name of this list box? Well, if I click on it in the design mode, I right click and I do properties. I can see that the name is here. I'm going to call it LB1 just for ease. And I need to also change one property, which is multi-select. If you see here, I can only select one data point, but if I want to select multiple, I need to select one of those two. I'm going to use the extended one because you can use the shift button also to select. So I'm just going to do this, close it, and then we know that this is called LB1. So we're going to create a dim SH as worksheet, and then we need to go through all the sheets that we have in this workbook. So we're going to do for each SH in this workbook. So this workbook means I'm selecting the workbook that I have here. Dot sheets, not worksheets, sheets, and then next SH. Sheet one, because that's the name of my sheet here, you can see. Dot LB1. Dot add item. And then here I can put the item that I want. So I'm going to do sh.name. Now, the problem that I'm going to face here is that it will also take the name of my sheet one because this is one of the sheets that we have in the workbook. So if I want to avoid this, I need to put an if statement here. If sh.name is different than sheet one, this is the name here, then we can just add it. So that's and if here we get rid of this problem, the other thing that I need to get rid of is I don't want this to start adding only. I need to clear it and then I start adding. Otherwise, I'll have duplicates. So here I need to write sheet1.lb1.clear. So this is the method. So I'm clearing it and then I am adding the sheet names. Let's run it and see what happens. As you can see, I got all the names. If I change something and I call it data 12, for example, I run it, you can see that it updates automatically. Now, to run this, we can have a button here, but that's not the best solution. What you can do instead is use a worksheet event. So if you go, for example, to this one, sheet one, you can see here that you have worksheet, you can select it, and here you have a bunch of events. So one of them is activate. So here I have my worksheet activate. 
So let's remove this. What does worksheet activate means? It means that if I go somewhere else to another sheet, as soon as I click back on this sheet, then it's activated. So here I can just call my macro. So what was the name of our macro? Fill LB. We copy, we paste it in this one, and that's it. And make sure that you have this here in sheet one, otherwise it's not gonna work. You're not gonna find those events or you're gonna have it in a different sheet. So now, if I go, for example, here, and I rechange back to one, and I go back, you can see that it automatically updates without me pressing any button. The other thing that I need to do is another sub to be able to print the selected sheets. So sub print selected. So first of all, I need to have dim i l as integers. Those are my counters. We're going to use them later on. The second thing I need to do is I need to create an array. So I'm going to do dim a. I'm going to open and close the parentheses, but I'm not going to put the size of the array because I don't know the size of the array. Did I select one data point, five data points? I don't know. I'm going to start fixing it and changing it as we go. Then I need to go through my list box and then check if each of the data points that I have here is selected or not. And then I need to put it in my array. So to do this, we're going to do with sheet one, again, sheet one dot LB one and with, and here we're going to use a for loop. So for i is equal zero. Why zero? Because this start at zero. Two dot list count minus one. So if you see here, I can add, for example, list count here. And in VBA, you can also do it as part of your with block. You can put it inside. So that's the advantage of having with. And list count minus one because I'm starting at zero. So my length or the number of data points I have will be the total number of points minus one. So here we do next I. Let's go a little bit down. And now I need to check if it's selected. So if dot selected, here we put I, then and if. So what I'm doing, I'm checking whether the element I, so the element 0, 1, 2, etc., is selected, then I need to just do an action. So if it's selected, I'm going to do read them preserve. So preserve means when you have an array, you want to keep what was there before. And read them, it's like resize. So A, I'm going to do now L. So L starts at zero. Okay, so if L, for example, goes to one after adding one element, like I'm doing here, then it will be L1, 2, 3, and 4, etc. And here, I'm going to do A, L is equal to dot list I. So what I'm doing here, I'm resizing my array and then I am inserting the selected data point. And then I'm adding one to my lens. So then next time when I need to add and resize my array, it's gonna work. So let's see how it works a little bit. Here I have my local window. To get it, you can do view and then you can say locals window. And then if you do F8, you can start going through the sub. I'm going to select a couple. So I'm going to select this and this with the control key. And then I'm going to do F8. So here, the first one I didn't select, right? So it should just skip it. See, it skipped it. It's not selected. Then I do next I. This is selected. So you see selected I through because it's my chart one. Then we do F8. So if you noticed here, I have something in A, I have A0. If I do F8, then in A0, I have chart one. Then I continue. The next one is not selected. It is data two, so it's gonna skip it. And the last one is chart two. 
it's going to select it. So if you see here now L is 1, so if I do F8, it has added A1, and then in A1 we are adding chart 2, and then it goes outside. Next, we need just to send it for printing. So there is print and print preview. I'm going to start with print preview. So I'm going to say sheets, and then here I can put my array dot print preview. So now, if I just run it, you can see that I get my two sheets in print preview. If you want to print it, you just do the same, but you do, instead of print preview, you just do print out. I'm not going to use it now because I don't want to print anything, so I'm going to comment it, but this is just for you to know. The last point I need to do is to add a button. So that's very easy. Insert, illustrations, icon, then I do print out or print. Then I will have several. So let's select, for example, this time this. I have it here. I can color it, for example, here in blue or whatever. For example, if you like this blue, you can do it. Right click, assign macro. You have print selected. Now, if I select, for example, my data sheets, I click, I get my data sheets. So this is the concept. This is how you can read them arrays. This is how you can print. This is how you can use list boxes in Excel in your work. So let me know in the comment section, how are you using list boxes and how this concept will apply in your day-to-day -day work.